Hello and welcome to On the Food Scene with Steve. I'm in New York City at the Fancy Food Show, which is one of the largest shows uh, promoting the specialty food market. And with me is Henry Miller, the owner and founder of Henry Humdinger's. Uh, I'm amazed at what you've done. Thank you. Tell, um, tell me a little about how you began and uh, you were a young man when you uh, really started the business. It all started when I was 11 years old and I sat next to a beekeeper on a plane and I started talking to him and learning all about bees and about how they're in danger from colony collapse disorder and the second I got off the flight I went up to my mom and asked her for a beehive for my 12th birthday. For some reason she got me one, I still don't really know why. <laughs> and after that I had so much sweet honey I had no idea what to do with. It made like 40 pounds. I mean, what does a regular person do with like 40 pounds of honey? So I started looking online at recipes that used honey and I noticed a lot of them also use spices. So I figured out that they obviously go well together. Why not try mixing them to see what happens? And I created spicy honey. And we started selling it to friends and family and taking it to food shows and to the county fair and everyone said we should really run with it. And my parents were kind enough to become my venture capitalists and back me. And after that, the rest just kind of started falling into place. At the age of 16, I was on the show Shark Tank, and that really was the push that the company needed to really get off the ground. Wow, and uh, talking about Shark Tank, uh, it probably gave you some great exposure. Oh yes, it was, it put us on the map. There's no really other way that this company could have gotten that much exposure in that short amount of time. I mean, whenever anyone starts a company, they always say, oh, you should go on Shark Tank. You should be on Shark Tank. And it's always the dream of anyone with a startup to do that. But somehow we were that small percentage that managed to get on, whether it was my charming personality or <laughs> the fact that the honey is just very amazing. Well, well, talking about the honey, tell us a little about uh, your line and what you have over here. We have a line of infused honeys. We started out only selling spicy honey, but we realized that there probably should be a sweeter flavor for some people. So we have flavors ranging from almond, lemon, and vanilla nutmeg all the way to habanero and lime or chipotle and cinnamon. And we have glass jars that have our more quirky, funny names like Nutty Uncle and Grumpy Grandpa. And then we have a line of squeezable honeys that are mainly used for in the cabinet when you want to just get, at, get it out and quickly put it on your chicken. So this is the squeeze bottle you're talking the about? The handy honey, yes. Okay. And you have some great recipes. Uh, I know that I picked up a few recipe cards at your booth here. And are these your creations as well? Yes. We find that the hardest part about starting a new category like flavor infused honey or spicy honey is that people don't really know what to do with it. So the biggest thing is to educate consumers on how to use it. And we started off by making these recipe cards that we'd put out and people would see them and go, you know what, that does look like what I'd use it for. Well, in front of me I have two recipes here, one for cranberry walnut chicken salad and one for unbeatable salad. And I guess uh, this one's using the Naughty Nana. The Naughty Nana, that would be our pepper and ginger. And this one is the Nutty Uncle. The almond lemon flavor. Okay. And for those folks that want to purchase your product, where are they available? We do sell online uh, at henrysumdiggers.com and we also are in several retailers that are, we have a list on our website of where it's available. But another big thing is we also do private labeling for Kroger as well, in which our vanilla nutmeg and our sriracha flavored honey are both in the Kroger private selection in all Kroger stores nationwide. Excellent. And Henry, your website is quite long, so yes. can we spell that out so the folks can definitely find you? Yes, it's henrysumdingers.com and that is www.henrysumdingers.com. And you can also be found on Facebook? Yes, it's Henry Humdingers on Facebook and that's the best way to find out about all of our promotional deals, what new things we're offering, and essentially just always keep up to date with the company. Great. Well, thank you so much for sharing the information. I know you got to get back to the floor yes, because I it do. is quite busy up there. For On the Food Scene with Steve, I'm here in New York City at the Fancy Food Show.